How's it hanging, fellas? I'm Otis, and this is another episode of Crash Bandicoot. And in today's episode, we're doing the high road. It's over. Crash. I got the high road. I fucking. I hate forced references like that when I did it myself. I think this is the stage that has some shit hidden in the back. Problem is, it's not. What the fuck did I just stood on? The spike? They even gave me two lives right at, at, right at the beginning. They fucking knew how fucked up this was. I think I gave up on trying to go down backwards. I don't know, I was like, fuck it, I don't give a shit what's back there. Come on. You can cheat the game by actually jumping on the ropes on the sides, I know that, but... In, in this game, it's much more difficult than an insane trilogy where it's fucking easy to do and you can just cheat the whole level like that. And this hog, also this hog doesn't actually run after you, after you jumped over it, it just kind of sits down. Oh, it's so close. Uh, I'm even scared to jump on the turtles because the hitbox might fuck me over. Or I might fall off a platform. Music's cool though. Yeah, I was talking about the Yuzu emulator uh, last episode and it does seem to have... I don't know what happened also because uh, I, pl I downloaded Mario and Rabbit's Kingdom Battle and the game wouldn't work. First of all, the game had to be played in the Pro Controller mode docked. Specifically docked. It couldn't be handheld mode because if it was, then the screen would be all black for some reason. So it had to be docked, then the screen would appear flawlessly, everything would go, that was fucking close. Everything would have been fine. But then when the game loads, it loads a load of bullshit because it doesn't fucking load, it crashes. It didn't only crash the game or the emulator, it crashed the whole fucking Steam Deck. Or I got to reset the fucking console. So, I know it's not a console, but I like to call it that. I, I straight up just call it my Nintendo Switch, because that's what it is. Even though it's more than that. It's my fucking PC, my PS2, it's my everything, it's my whole world. I got a feeling this was a really fucking good purchase I just made with the Steam Deck. One I'm not gonna regret. It almost feels like I got the Vita again. I'm just gonna lay in my bed. Yeah, that's what I did yesterday. I like took a shower. There was a fucked up thunderstorm outside yesterday. Let me tell you about that later. And... And yeah, I... I laid in my bed, played Mario and Rabbit's Kingdom Battle. And when the game loads a new location, it really stutters in those moments where it lags. But maybe I just... I didn't mess at all with the settings, so perhaps there's some settings I... I gotta like look up some people's recommendations just for the best fucking possible settings to get the best performance. Out of the use of emulator so I can just set it up like that. Also, I would like to also do that to my PS2. Because I believe the Steam Deck can pull off playing PS2 games as some kind of high resolution full screen hack. Because there is a full screen hack and I would like to know how it works. I never played Crash Insanity on a fucking full screen. That'd be an experience. Funny animation of Turtle getting up, it's cute. Yes, I played that a bit. I got to the Princess Peach Castle and now I'm back to the first location. I'm playing like three different fucking games at the same time and that never ends well where I just don't finish any of them. I also played more Pokemon Let's Go Eevee and I got to I got through. I just fucking did it like 10 minutes ago. Well, not 10 minutes ago. An hour ago, maybe. And I got through the third gym, which was the Thunder Gym. I just decided to skip boxes, I guess. Oh man, did I fucked up. I got the life, though. I don't know if I got to keep it, I don't think so. What a bummer. Yeah, and... I got through the gym and that's about it. I'm about to go to a Diglett cave and there's a Snorlax in the way, so I gotta figure out how to do that. I guess. Also fucking leveled up my Eevee because I got like five Eevee candies and I was like, well I only got one Eevee. The game's called Let's Go Eevee, that's the one I'm fucking playing. And this is like the hardest two levels of the game in one episode. 
How is this episode only 11 minutes long? It doesn't seem like this skill level gives me that much trouble. Could it be that this game's not as hard as people make it out to be? Or could it be that I'm just such an epic gamer? I don't know. I think it's both. Specifically the second one, but... It's both, I think. That fucking creeped me out as a kid. What the fuck even is it? It's a creepy eyes. You don't know what this is. Is this a human? Why would Cortex keep fucking slaves or prisoners? What the fuck? In the new game, they made it look like it's an old man trapped in a dungeon. So, I don't know, maybe Cortex just bought this castle or took it over from the previous owner. And it just turns out that the previous owner was Dracula or some shit. And he kept his food in a dungeon. And the food got old. And now the food wants to eat a bandicoot. You think bandicoots taste good? I don't know. Do they eat them in Australia? Do they eat marsupials? I know kangaroos are apparently awful. Like the meat of kangaroos is so bad even prisoners don't want to eat it. That's how fucking disgusting apparently it is. And... Yeah, so the user emulator staggers stugger, a little bit when loading a new area. I don't know if maybe it's just that game. Or maybe I gotta mess around with the settings to get the best performance. That could be too. The case. And... What else about it? But I don't want to fuck around with the emulator too much because it seems to be a very... careful... very fragile fucking thing because it seems like any time I change one fucking setting all of a sudden nothing works. So I would like to keep it the way where it actually works. I'd like to notice that I haven't died yet and that's surprising because last episode I kept just jumping off a fucking straight platform. Last episode I performed so fucking badly I started to think like what the fuck was I doing while recording this game? Could it have been that I just recorded this entire game in one go and I just kinda got fucking sick and tired here? Look we're like halfway through this stupid bullshit stage. I think I... I did start it eventually dying, so it's not like I went through the whole fucking level flawlessly. And that's a long stretch of level you gotta go through without fucking dying, I gotta say. Maybe that's why people find this so difficult. And they're just floating in the air platforms that seemingly have no fucking... ...pattern you can predict, because they spin around and they kinda... They spin around and move left and right, which makes them kinda hard to predict, because they go in a straight fucking pattern. Here's the scientist I mentioned a couple of episodes ago that they're really funny looking guys. Apparently they're clones, they're like uh, androids or cyborgs, no, not cyborgs, androids. I think Crash 3 revealed their origin where they're androids and Cortex is like a factory making those guys. But they seem to have human-like sentience, so it's kind of fucked up to be a scientist in this universe, I guess. Maybe Crash 6 will have an actual scientist as a character and they'll like actually say stuff. I think they even had a female scientist in one of the... in Crash 4, didn't they? I don't know. I have this really dumbass candy, it's called a sweet watch. It's like a wristwatch made of candy. Why did I buy it? I love this candy, I don't know what it's about it. I love... I love it. But I shouldn't fucking eat candy while I record a fucking video. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Oh yeah, Fanta Exotic is really good. I keep drinking it right now. Man, it gets so unbelievably fucking humid in my room once I close the fucking windows and turn off the fan and close the doors. Jesus Christ. And people are surprised when I say that I prefer winter to summer. Yeah, so I think I'll, I don't know, check out some, like, tutorial or some people's opinion on what are the best settings for those two emulators. And maybe I'll download OBS and see how it works. I'll probably not be playing more Pokemon today. Or Mario. I might finish Sonic Prime or keep going with Grand Theft Auto 4 so I can wrap up that game. And yeah, those are my plans. 
for the rest of the day. I was gonna tell you about the fucked up storm. So yesterday I went out with my friends to meet up with a friend who hasn't been in town in a long while. I wanted to give her some Korean candy I had. We met up and we were supposed to go take a walk and like pick up some stuff with her. But it started raining and it became such a fucked up huge thunderstorm that we hid, that we hid from it. And now we're looking out the window and my friend is like, oh look, the trash can's being carried away. And we're like, who the fuck is taking away trash at this fucking, in this weather? And we're looking outside and it's the wind. And a trash can fucking traveled all across. Nice. Good fucking job. The trash can just like drove across the parking lot, hit a bunch of cars on the way. Thankfully, mine was in a garage, so I didn't get hit or wet. It was so fucking windy that two trash cans were carried out. One reached the other end of the parking lot, which isn't a short parking lot, it's like a very long, narrow parking lot. It's not like a square shaped one. At the entrance of it, there are trash bins. And it, and it fucking got to the other end. A tree fell on a different car. And while I was walking back from work and I went to pick up some stuff on the way, some food, I noticed a lot of fucking trees like just straight up fell over. Well, there were a lot of like big branches on the ground, but I don't think any. That was the only tree I genuinely saw fall over. Also, while I, the storm was happening, I heard a bunch of sirens, so I guess some other fucked up shit must have happened. So see you fellas in the next episode, bye.